All right, it's Gus through living back with Tiger 14, and this is the final round at Celtic Manor. We're tied for 16th, and we are three off the lead after the first round. Some crazy win that first round, plus I missed a few putts that I should have definitely made. Probably should have been at least seven under. For sure, but we're not, so we got to suck it up and try to do, try to win this thing. EA Sports and I come back. I come back quite a bit at times, so might be able to pull it off. Of the worldwide championship. Let's see how the wind is. It's part of the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Newport, South Wales, and Celtic Manor, the 2010 course, the site of the Ryder Cup in that very year of 2010. And we're happy to be here today to call all the action. Jim Nance and David Parody for EA Sports. All right, nobody else. Nobody's gone completely bonkers in this first round, and the wind has died down a bit too, so that is nice. The wind was at least probably tw at least 20 miles an hour last time, because it was taking 40 yards off my shots. At least 20, probably higher. 25 maybe, I don't know. It was pretty crazy. That's golf at its best. Of course, it's playing soft because that didn't roll at all. But the wind is probably about a seven, maybe, maybe a five, five to seven. So. It's much nicer compared to what we had. I pushed it. Get up. Get up. There we go. God, I'm just pushing balls all the time now. That sounded weird. My side chance of making this one, I suppose. But it's true though. I have been. I've been just yeah, not playing very well with my irons. Clue we got here. Nothing. Left to right there. No, right to left. I mean, no, oh, no, left to right. So left to right in the middle of the putt, pretty much a little bit, not too much. Quick start today, Jim. First hole, and already a chance for birdie. How nice. Score it. What a putt. That's how you start it off. That's how you start it off. It's funny because now it's saying it's windy and it's not that windy. And yesterday it said calm, first round, and it was actually windy because I'm at live weather. So it just kind of kind of funny. I switched to these Nikes. I always tend to grab clubs usually based on excellent start off the tee. Um, accuracy over distance, but I'm starting to kind of go a little bit more distance now because I'm more consistent in hitting the ball straight, even though I don't tend to do it all often enough still. As much as I've been playing this game, I still have trouble at times. But it's not terrible. I'm not like way off anymore. I'm a little off. That was a little bit pushed. So I'm starting to try to go a little bit more distance. Try to get a little more, a little closer to the hole. Try to get myself a little better iron shots coming in than I normally have here. Get up. Get up. Damn it, Scott. That's an excellent laser like precision shot. I wanted to hit it in the red. I did on my practice swing, but then because these these greens are so slow right now. I ended up hitting the in the green and not in the red, so it was shorter than I wanted it. Nice. And move them to one back of the leader. Yeah, this course isn't that tough. It didn't seem like Here's that first the round. Up to date tournament leaderboard. It was more that that first nine. I was having trouble getting the wind down in the back nine. I think I ended up shooting about five under. So I was able to pull it out, but decent score. Uh, doesn't mean that's going to be an easy round. 
but it doesn't seem like it's the, a very difficult course, okay, like crazy this hard. Either three or no, it looks like the, yep, this is four iron. That was short, big time. But um, that wind's a little stronger than one club. It looks like about two club wind at least. I play that as a one club wind there. And it wasn't even directly into me, so it's a little stronger Chance than I thought. To pick up one right here. Hit it well from out there. It's not bad from there. Got one of these big ass gigantic putters, Nike putters today. Tend to usually look back at last week's tournament results. I like the Anzer putters normally, the ones that are like they kind of look like an old school putter. But changing it up. That's a great way to get the hole started. So I'm just thinking that one's about ten, maybe. But that way it, it took that last ball. Okay, going with a five iron from here. Wow, that's going left. Man. Really? Even with that wind blowing a little bit to the right? That little bit of a pull to get that far over? Wow, that's... Okay. Just think about Sim. If you're off, you're in trouble. God, I don't even know what this putt's doing. It looks like it's in the middle of a fucking crevice. It's like level, but... That's left to right there. Yeah, it's, I guess it's more left to right than anything, even though. Let's just try to get it close. Play for that three foot circle around the hole, like you're kind of you're supposed to do on uh, long putts. Just lag it up, make sure you make your second one. Here. This is for par. Make sure you make your second one, but get your first one close enough so every once in a while it, dro it just drops in for you. That's the Let's point on those. Let's go to our data bank now and find out the best of the best so far. I remember there's a couple holes on this course that you can actually reach in. One. There's that one on the back, par four, that you can hit in one shot, which was... Uh, Pretty crazy. I had the wind actually in my face. That big wind. I almost beat the green. When you can hit it off the tee like that. So we should be able to get there today. Yards left. Um, even though, yeah, we should definitely be able to get there today. Actually. That looks uh, still short. Damn it. Yep, that's on the short stuff, but come uh, on, scales. Plenty of work left to get. I contemplated when I looked at it to put, go up a club, but I'm like yeah, but I didn't hit it hard enough. I swing light with these guys on sim because I try to go accurate, so I tend to have to hit the ball harder than the marker is showing. 3.5, huh? God, I, I mean, I barely saw any break on that putt. I'm sure this thing's going to break like crazy birdie. now. Come on. Come on! Oh, my God.
Ugh, shit. Yeah, I tend to hit the ball shorter because I don't really swing hard on the way down to try to keep it straight. So, normally if I have like a 2 jr club, it's really only going to go about 193, 194 probably. So, sometimes I kind of forget to actually add a little club to it. And a lot of times I don't swing back in the red anyway as well for the same reason because I want to try to hit the ball straight more than anything. And that's a solid tee shot right there. What a nice way. So a lot of times I'll actually go up if, if yeah, I need a full red minutes. shot to get there with my iron, I'll go up a club lower and then knock it down and try to hit like a green shot or a barely, barely a red shot to count and to make up for the fact that I need to hit a full red. This one is a little bit red, so I can. This is not bad. You like kind of yanked it, but I uh, pull, pushed it, but I yanked it on the bottom. It's going to even itself out and go right In there. there snug next to the hole. We have a share of the lead nice. after that. That's one of those shots where I pulled it on my backswing, but I pushed it on my downswing, and it kind of evened itself out and pretty much hit it straight. So I'll take it. That's luck, is what it's called. Pure luck. Like this shot here, I need a full red shot to get there, but I'm not going to be able to even get close to that because one, I got to swing too hard and probably won't hit it straight, and two, uh, even if I hit it perfect, I probably won't get there because my downswing is not going to be hard enough. So I need 202, basically. They're telling me 202, 201. So I'm going to go up a club and bring this down to the same spot. So 202 here. So I need to just go a little bit in the red. And I should be able to get there with this club. An extra club up. This but hopefully iron. I'll hit it more accurate like that. Um, because I go blue downswing. It still wasn't enough, though, really. Ugh. But that was, I misplayed the distance more than the shot. That was still what I wanted to do. That would have worked if I had it. my math right. It wasn't right. But if I would have hit that first club, yeah, I wouldn't have come close to getting there. The point I was trying to get at, if I hit full red, it just would not have come close. Turn! Wow, that just All right, stayed never. dead straight the whole way. Well, three feet left for par. All right. We are shooting better on the front than the first round. We were one under first round. Two birdies and a bogey. A more by the moment. There's tons of guys at eight under. Look at that nonsense. And Overton and Wagner haven't even teed off yet. So we need to. We need to do some damage here. I'd love to get to have to have them shoot five, six under, which means I need to really start playing well. Be the club. It feels good right when I when I hit it. It's right what I wanted to do. Incredible shot. That's a very makeable putt after that approach. Beautifully played. That's the good stuff when you hit a shot and you know even before it starts going that it's the right shot. That's got a big hill in that putt. So it doesn't drain. Okay. We now have a new leader. I think it was on the side of that hill. It was gonna move, but I hit it pretty hard. Update on this year's performance for the season. To try to take some of that uh, off of it, so break out. Yeah, but that shot's like real, like in real, in real golf. When you hit that perfect shot, and you just feels like right off the club, you know it's gonna be freaking awesome. That's like what that shot felt like. It's weird, even though it's a video game. I had the dot right in the middle of the ball, I had to move it, I held it my finger straight. 
And I just knew right when I hit it, it was going to be straight up and down, perfect. And it went right there, so we got to do more of those. There's the shot you see that would have Look at that background of those hills. What an awesome area, huh? Wow. 329 left here. How are those bunkers? Those are the two. Okay, so those are the, the ones up there. That's where we gotta go. Should be able to get over. No! Oh, I cut it too much. Shit. How's this lie? Oh, Scales, you dumb fuck. I cut it too much. Oh, this is a nasty ass shot. What a horrible shot. So let me hit it halfway. Nope, way too low on that dot. Damn it! That's going to find the second cut. Going with a low edge. Fuck it, par five. Birdie hole. If you just hit the ball straight. Actually, I hit it straight. I played it wrong. Going. That is oh, an unbelievable shot from that location. That's the one that pisses me off the most. When it's not that I I hit the ball now straight, the I just didn't play it right. To point? I try to I cut the corner too much. It's hard. We can't zoom up, but still should have played safer on a par five. You give me a wedge into that green most of the time. I'm gonna hit it close enough for a birdie a lot of the time. So. It's downhill with that win. Peel the club, come on. No, a little short. It's yeah. outside 25 feet and it's got all kinds of issues here. I normally don't mind being short actually because I get an uphill putt, but these are a little too long. Not for me to be happy about it. Turn. Yes. With that, we have a new leader. But uphill puts are always easier than downhill puts. And usually and if you're short of a hole. Exactly how are things shaping up at the moment? Ow. Here's a look. Usually if you're short of the cup, it's gonna be an uphill putt. A, a vast majority of greens break front to or back to front. You know, they go downhill, they go uphill from Front to back, you know, or, or I can't think. Why can't I say it properly? A majority of greens break back to front, meaning they, they're downhill or they're uphill from front to back. I can't talk. Whatever. Hopefully you, you understand what I'm trying to say because I can't say it. Beautiful. Usually if you're short of the cup, straight into a green, it's going to be an uphill putt. Let's put it that way. Usually. Not always, but for the most part. That's what I'm kind of trying to get at. I just don't know how to say it properly because I'm an idiot. Alright. So we got 261. This 3 wood is 250. We got wind, so we should be able to get there with this. That's a pretty straight looking shot, too. Come on, roll. That's not going to make it. It's not going to get it. That's not going to roll enough. Damn it! I thought that wind would push it up there. It gives me a good birdie chance, but I wanted to be closer than that, be really. Wedge or 60 degree. I want to be. I have a putt for an eagle. I tend to chip them in sometimes, but I'd still rather have a putt for an eagle. Yeah. That is a beauty, perfectly on the flag. Okay, nice birdie Beautiful. there. I'll take the birdie on the fives. We already played the par fives one under, I think, in the first round, which is a missed opportunities. 
So far, I think we've at least two under, maybe? Perhaps? It's one under, two under. Yeah, we're playing them two under today, so that's big. Par fives are where you score. That's the way to stand up and hit it. A par on a par five in this game, unless the wind is an a absolutely insane, or the hole itself is absolutely insane, which there are some that are absolutely insane, that are tough. But for the most part, if you par a par five, it's pretty much like a bogey. Because you should be birdie in that hole, really. Uh, and uh, this should be a four iron, I believe. And yes, it is. You should pretty much be figuring that you're gonna birdie it. So a par is obviously losing a stroke. Get up. At least that's how I think of it. A real opportunity here to get one back. This thing's gonna move. Turn, you bitch! Not that much ain't moving. Check out the top performers in the tournament so far to this point. Nine fairways hit. That is pretty awesome. Well, actually, it's not great, but it's pretty good. The wind's not really hard enough for it. I mean, you should be hitting the fairways, Going actually. With four iron. To be honest with you, when I read that stat, I thought I meant greens hit, nine greens hit. Nine greens out of 13, or 12, would be, I'd be really happy with that. It means I'm hitting my iron straight. I should be hitting fairways. Every time. Put a little more oomph on that, because to get it up to that cup, there and you go. there close, about eight feet to the cup. Right, That's about an ball. eight foot or not. That thing doesn't look like it's breaking, really. Maybe a tad? Maybe? Yeah, you know, I'm going to hit it a little hard and play less break and just try and ram it in. For the tournament. That's how you do it. Three under on the back. We've hit 20 fairways and 24 green. We actually hit more greens than fairways. That's interesting. As a whole, I think you can go for that. I think last round the wind was in our face on this hole, so there's no way I could have went for it. Today we actually have a chance to get there. Ah! Oh! I forget the way that fairway's cut. We just missed it. That's a good lie, though. So yeah, that's pretty much perfect lie anyway. It's not going to do too much to us. Get to the hole. Get to the hole. Get up. Leaves it about 20 feet from the cup. Look Nicely at Sergio. Wow. I was actually thinking of going up a club because, like I said earlier, tend not to hit it hard enough. Usually I hit a few yards short, but I thought I'd be able to muscle it up there with the wind and shit. Helping a tad. Um, but I didn't quite get it there. A chance to sneak one back from par here. Oh, that break was way more than I thought. Yeah, I too many of those here today. So Sergio's coming at it, huh? This is for par. That's 
Usually I would say Sergio Cho because he always does. And here are the latest standings in the race for the Fed. Look at that nonsense. 14 wins in 22 events. It's pretty good. Here's that par 3. Or, sorry. Par 4 that's drivable. Because we basically almost made it last time to the green. And we weren't even... The wind was blowing way harder in our face. Actually went down a degree from 9 to 8.5. So hopefully that doesn't affect this shot and I hit these trees. Oh, I pushed it though. Damn it. Shit, I pushed it because I was trying to kill it. And actually gave myself a terrible shot. Going last time I was right in front of the green. This time I'm way downhill. Oh my god, what a horrible shot. And there's not a lot of green to work with here. This will be the lob wedge or sixty degree. Oh, I screwed myself. Oh my god. I, that's hilarious. This was like the E's supposed to be the hole I'm going to birdie for no doubt, and I end up shaking my shot. And... Oh, scales. I still have a chance to make this, actually. Get to the hole. Get to the hole. Nice. That was a pretty easy chip, actually. <laughs> Straight into the hole. But that's not really the way I wanted to play that. But I'll take it. That's for damn sure. So we got 16 coming up, I believe. We should be pretty close. We should still be up in the lead right now after that. I don't know. Par 4. This is like, these last fairways, if I remember, are skinny-ass fairways. Like, par 5, 18, I think, is really skinny fairway. 17th is par 3, so... Well, this is a beautiful shot, Jim. Actually, it widens up there, right the, the landing way. area. Windings, windings, that widens up a little bit. Below feet 4.1, that's a pretty big below feed. Yeah, so more with the wind, downhill. You know, I'm going to just hit it because that hill. If I hit it normal, that hill should help a little bit distance to get me to the cup. That's the plan, at least. Let's see if it works out that way. Nope, died. And let's go to the leaderboard. How's my below? Wow, that's a big below feet. I should still be able to have a chance at making this though. Nope. I hit that my dot way too far too far to the right on the dot. That's a good solid stroke for par. Shit. These players have been the absolute best in the field when it comes to this stat. Oh, I still can't believe it. Well, I birdied that hole. I guess I don't even know what I'm thinking. I was thinking about that hole that par. F Four that I hit so far right, but since I chipped it in, really didn't hurt me. I should have hit the green though, and had an eagle shot though. Long par three, seventeen. Get to the hole. Get to the hole. It's downhill. The best of the best when it comes to this stack. Downhill. Fuck. And this one is for Birdie. Too much break. Not enough break. I mean. He's got to like par on that hole. All right, so we're 13 under. Here's a look at the current standings. We're 8 under today. We're a stroke ahead of Sergio, but he's only on the ninth hole. A lot of other guys are, well, 
some of those guys are four back. It's hard to think they might actually catch me. Sergio obviously has a shot. He's got nine holes left, and he's only down a hole. We do have a par five here. That's not reachable, though, if Excellent I remember right. Start off the tee. A great way to begin the hole. Unless you really kill the ball, which I'm, I don't, I'm not killing the ball enough to get there. Yeah. So the water. So last time I measured about 200, I was thinking, but it's 30 something downhill. I think I hit a 190 club, 180 club here. I think this is a good, the good club to use from last time. No, that's way short. Okay, well, I didn't think that through. And now a quick check of the leaderboard. Oh well. Okay. <sighs> Scouts, dumb fuck. Okay, well you know what? It's alright. I'd rather be short and have to hit a a, a wedge in than be in the water, I'm trying to be perfect. Even though this really is not where I wanted to be. That's kind of, that's pretty much a lie, but still. Well, it's not a lie that I'd rather not be in the wall. I'd rather be in the water, but that should be closer than this. Looks to be a nine iron here. Should have gave myself the an up and down wedge, 80 yards and in. This That's is not right bad though. Flagstick. That's gonna be left to right though. Yeah, which is always a tougher putt. And to go a further shot under par. Nice. A remarkable round. That's a big putt. That's a big putt. That might be enough to pull it off. Sergio, I think, bogeyed, actually. He, it seemed like he bogeyed. Yes, we got him by two. A 62 back. Uh, the second day. Oh, that's huge. Uh, another rack with another one up. 15 wins in 22 events, 20 top tens. Thanks for joining us, and, and we have Kiowa Island next. We gotta fly all the way back to South Carolina, and then we gotta fly all the way back to Scotland. I don't know who made up this schedule, but they're freaking morons. And then we head to Greece, which is pretty cool. Close in the Navarino. I don't actually remember that course either. I may have played it once or twice. Royal Trude I've played quite a bit, and Kiowa I've played quite a bit too. But of course, Royal Trude is the Open, so that's a four-day major, so that's going to be pretty fun. But Kiowa's next, so we'll see you there in South Carolina. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.